choice of programming language is a very important decision for any developer. When it comes to programming languages, there is always a lot of debate going around it. Hi guys, this is Kavya from Edureka and welcome to this video on the top 10 dying programming languages. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to Edureka YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Also, if you are interested in online training certification, do check out the link given in the description. With that, let's get started. On the 10th position, we have Perl, which stands for Practical Extraction Reporting Language. Perl is a high-level language used for general-purpose programming. The reason why it has become less popular recently include its complex syntax, high CPU requirements, large requirement with memory, and poor structuring in arguments. If you have been using Perl in the past, you may move to alternatives such as PHP, Python, Java, C, or JavaScript. The next dying programming language is Scala. Abbreviated from Scalable Language, Scala uses an expressive typing system that ensures statistical abstraction that is secure and consistent. So if it is secure and consistent, why is it having declining popularity? First off, it is hard to understand. Its syntax is oddly different from other languages. Secondly, it runs on JVM, so it has no tail recursive optimization. And more importantly, it has poor developer pool, making it have a weak community. Alternatives of Scala are Kotlin, Python, Java, and Go. On the eighth position of our list, we have Objective-C. Objective-C is a simple programming language designed to enable sophisticated object-oriented programming. Objective-C is a strict superset of C, meaning that any code that has been written in C can be used in Objective-C programs without being rewritten. However, it adds some features of its own that cannot be used in a traditional C program. So Objective-C lost its popularity with the advent of Swift, which is now preferred for iOS development. Moreover, it lacks namespacing. Unlike C, it contains explicit pointers. Alternatives to Objective-C are, of course, Swift, c -sharp, C++, and Kotlin. Another dying programming language is COBOL. COBOL is a compiled English-like programming language designed for business use. It is primarily used in business, finance, and administrative systems for companies and governments. The reasons for its decline are difficulty in usage, strong typing rules, and difficulty in passing. What you can use instead of COBOL are Python, Java, C, COBOL, and JavaScript. Next up, we have once popular Pascal. Pascal is an imperative and procedural programming language that was originally designed as a tool to assist the teaching of programming as a systematic learning path. Its pitfalls include lack of support, issues in control flow and evaluation issues. It has been primarily replaced by Delphi, so that's an alternative you may use. And also, other languages such as c -sharp, Dart and Lua can be used as an alternative. Haskell is named after Haskell Brooks Curry, a US mathematician who contributed a lot to logic. Haskell is based on Lambda Calculus and uses the Greek letter Lambda as its logo. The top reasons for its downfall are its complicated interface, non-suitability for critical applications, higher learning curve, hence the lack of widespread implementation. Popular alternatives to it are Java, Python, Ruby, and PHP. Next up, we have another dying language, CoffeeScript. CoffeeScript compiles to JavaScript with syntax inspired by Ruby, Python, and Haskell. Talking about its cons, it lacks explicit scoping, so we cannot specify which variables to make unavailable. It lacks name functions, and it's difficult to resolve exceptions. The alternatives to CoffeeScript that you may use are JavaScript, TypeScript, Babel, Python, or React. On the third position, we have Erlang. Erlang is a general-purpose functional programming language with a garbage-collected runtime system. Very few programmers actually use it, hence it lacks a strong community. 
Moreover, the jobs in demand do not require Erlang as a skill. It is also hard to set up and deploy along with complicated debugging. Popular alternatives to Erlang are Elixir, Go, Clojure, and Python. On the second position, we have Elm. Elm is a functional domain-specific language developed for creating web browser-based GUI with better usability. The reasons for its decline include lack of updates, lack of momentum, the fact that its usage is purely academic, and because it's complex with external JavaScript libraries. Alternatives that you may use are TypeScript, React, JavaScript, Python, and Rust. And finally, the programming language which is totally dying is none other than VB.NET. VB.NET is a multi-paradigm, object-oriented programming language implemented on .NET, Mono, and .NET framework with a no-code design system. As a programming language, it lacks many important features such as inability to handle pointers. Being a Microsoft product, it is not easily transferable to other operating systems. And also, it's very slow in processing. Alternatives that you may use to VB.NET are Jozo, Python, JavaScript, and C Sharp. I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubts, please leave a message in the comment section. Happy learning! I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it, and you can comment any of your doubts and queries, and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!